In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Christ is the way. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. John 14, verses 8 and 9. We cannot by searching find out God, but he has revealed himself in the character of Christ, who is the brightness of the Father's glory and the express image of his person. If we desire knowledge of God, we must be Christ-like. He who does not seek each day to be more like Christ cannot know the character of God. Living a pure life through faith in Christ as a personal Savior brings the believer into a clear, higher conception of God. No man whose character is not noble and Christ-like can set forth God in a correct light. He may preach Christ, but he does not show his hearers that Christ is an abiding guest in his heart. Those who are partakers of Christ's love through a reception of the truth will give evidence of this by making earnest self-sacrificing efforts to give the message of God's love to those who are in error. Thus they become laborers together with Christ. Love for God and for one another unites the soul to Christ by the golden links of love. The soul is bound up with Him in sanctified, elevated union. True sanctification unites believers to Christ and to one another in the bonds of tender sympathy. This union causes to flow continually into the heart-rich currents of Christ-like love, which flows forth again in love for one another. The qualities which is essential for all to possess are those which mark the completeness of Christ's character, His love, His patience, His unselfishness, and His goodness. It is the greatest and most fatal deception to suppose that a man can have faith unto life eternal without possessing Christ-like love for his brethren. He who loves God and his neighbor is filled with light and love. God is in him and all around him. Christians love those around them as precious souls for whom Christ has died. There is no such thing as a loveless Christian, for God is love.